After a year-long delay, the Olympics are almost underway. But officials are now facing an increase in positive COVID-19 cases among athletes. Amy Kellogg has the latest. With just four days to go until opening ceremonies in Japan, Olympic athletes are already testing positive for the coronavirus. But health expert and leading advisor for the Games, Brian McCloskey, says this was expected. The numbers we're seeing are actually extremely low. They're probably lower than we expected to see, if anything. At least 12 new cases connected with the Games have been announced since Sunday, including an alternate member of the women's U.S. gymnastics team. The team is screened daily for the virus and has only left their hotel for training since arrival last week. Meanwhile, U.S. tennis player Coco Goff revealing she tested positive before leaving for Tokyo. While other athletes from around the world have tested positive upon arrival or after entering the athlete's village bubble. It's how quickly we identify them how quickly the cases are taken away, quarantined and treated and looked after, and how quickly the contact contacts are identified and put into isolation. Critics have argued that the game should never have gone on during a pandemic, with many citizens in Tokyo concerned they would become a super spreader event. But Olympic officials say safety measures in place inside the Olympic Village doing their part to reduce this risk. And the longer you stay in the, in the, in the village, the less likely it is that... It, a test will become positive because we're filtering people out at every stage. Coronavirus isn't the only health threat to both athletes and the public this week. A heat stroke alert has also been issued for Tokyo. This could end up being the hottest Olympic game in decades. In Florence, Amy Kellogg, Fox News.